bad news for employment in the private sector. ADP reporting employers slashed 23,000 jobs in March, surprising economists who had actually predicted a gain. But the news may not be as bad when the Labor Department releases its employment report on Friday. Thanks to increases in government jobs, mostly census, of course, they had to be created and they may tip the scales. So is it okay if private sector jobs are lost as long as government jobs are gained or is it not kind of an even trade-off? Jerry Mills, CEO of BDB CFO says no, but John Lonsky, chief economist at Moody, says we are headed in the right direction. They both join us now. Jerry, first you, it's not an even trade-off, right? Oh, no, uh, that's almost like asking somebody to pay their MasterCard bill with their Visa credit card. Uh, government jobs, we're only talking about if at the maximum level of the government hiring about 3% of the un unemployed, underemployed and the college graduates that are graduating next month. So that means 97% of the people that, are, that need employment are not going to get it. So it's a very small statistic. Uh, additionally, uh, government jobs don't produce uh, goods or services. They don't add anything to the GDP. Uh, they actually increase our, our uh, deficit, as you're aware. Uh, so that uh, is projected to be about $1.5 trillion. That deficit rolls into our national debt then we start paying interest on that to China and other companies, which increases our deficit. So no, uh, very small impact, and it's not going to do anything uh, for the labor force at all. Uh, John Lonsky, could there be a, a currency of sorts, though, from those government census jobs that, that you might not be able to see, but you can feel if there's money in those pockets and there's a psychological effect, could we start to see That's jobs? That's precisely growth? correct, because what this economy needs and more than anything else is increased spending. And if these uh, temporary census workers step up their spending, that's going to lead to the creation of more private sector jobs. There is a multiplier effect. And by the way, government spending constitutes an important component of GDP. And chances are that if we increase government spending, uh, we will lead uh, to an increase in employment elsewhere in the economy, of course, including the uh, private sector. All right. So, Jerry, you're all wrong. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not wrong at all. The, the, the answer is we have about 30 million businesses in the United States. If uh, the administration could do something to encourage them, we could solve unemployment in a month or two. Uh, the issue is the administration is not uh, friendly to business, and they're not encouraging them to hire people in the proper way. So we could solve this problem overnight, but it's not going to be answered by the government hiring temporary workers and, and for 3% of the population. Uh, not going to work at all. John Lonsky, last word. Well, he's right. You know, that's not the solution. Anyways, we have had a bottoming of business investment spending, third quarter of 2009. Ordinarily, that's associated with a bottoming of private sector employment that I think is being uh, formed right now, if it hasn't been formed already in February. Uh, looking ahead with the growth of business sales expected to continue, I wouldn't be surprised if we begin to observe substantial private sector jobs growth uh, by this summer. That's 100,000 new private sector jobs per month over a three-month span. Well, you disappoint me, John Lonsky, because I thought you were going to start screaming, and we were hoping <laughs> that you'd actually reach up from where you are and try to bring Jerry down to your level and beat the heck out of him, but it didn't happen. Maybe next time, all right? Good to see you both. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. See, I think I scared John with that one. What are you talking about, David? <laughs>